First and second, the speech and debate team went to Ladue High School for their state district tournament. In total, 10 people placed and four are going to state. Yeah, I would say the season has gone pretty well. I've gotten to compete at about nine tournaments now, I think, and I've won a few. I actually had to calculate my win rate a few weeks ago to apply to debate camp, and it was about 70%, so it was pretty good. Um, but honestly, like more important to the just like the wins was kind of this season's been really fun for me. I've met a lot of new people from other schools, which has been really cool. And also just like getting to meet a ton of people and kind of work with the people at our school has been really awesome. Yeah, it's been, uh, again, it's been fun. Um, prelims went pretty well. We had some interesting arguments. We had some arguments that I haven't seen in like eight months. So it was fun to debate those. And then, um, I've just seen a lot of people I haven't seen in a while because the last few tournaments we've gone to have been like a bit of a travel. So it's been fun to kind of see people again. Yeah, I would say I'm most excited about um, just all like, we've kind of reached a point where the debate started out really, really small a few years ago and we've reached the point where we have like a pretty decent size and we're still growing. So I would just say I'm really excited to see us continue to like adapt to our new size and collaborate as well as see the new kids who are interested. Word from Maplewood Richmond Heights High School, Samantha Sider and Jack Funk Funky Funky. Okay, there we go. <laughs> finalists in seventh place from Maplewood Richmond Heights High School, Samantha Simer. The season has gone pretty well. Um, me and Enzo have not attended as many tournaments as other people on the team just because of other sporting commitments and stuff. But I think we've had some pretty good success. We've broken, we've broken into out rounds at every single tournament we've been to. Actually, no, we missed one. But almost every single one of them, yeah. I'd say this tournament has gone pretty well. Um, we both tried out a new, a new debate event for the first time. We, we've had it for a while, but we only started really prepping for it this week. But we broke into the out rounds of it. We're going to our quarterfinal round in about 10 minutes now. I think we've been fairly successful. Um, one thing I'm excited about is kind of diversifying our range of what we do as a team. I know that when it started, it was very, very debate heavy, but I like how now people are getting opportunities to branch out into, you know, interp events, different debate styles, stuff like that. I think that it builds a stronger program and it invites more people. From Maplewood Richmond Heights High School, Graham Colden and Enzo Gilgonio. been going good. I'm starting to like public form a lot. Duo interpretations, like, uh, I don't really expect a break in it as of, like, the moment you're recording this right now. But, like, Puff, like, honestly, maybe I'll pursue it, maybe I won't, I don't know. It just sounds like, or it doesn't sound, it's just like, the experience I've had with it so far, it's just, it's just like really, it's more broad and it allows me to speak more, like, analytically about stuff. In, in comparison to, like, something like policy where I have to, like, read a bunch of evidence about one topic, you know. I'm really excited to just try out more events. Uh, I mean, I don't think I'm going to stop at HI and Duo, you know, who knows where I'll end up next or even the things that I'll cover next. Uh, and in regards to, like, debate itself, um, you know, just creating new affirmatives, you know, uh, t tackling next year's resolution about IP and stuff like that. That's going to be exciting. Unless they do Puff, I don't know. Who knows? We'll see. We had six finalists in sixth place from Maplewood Richmond Heights High School. Vera Pantazis. In third place, going to state, from Maplewood Richmond Heights High School, Vera Pantazis. has actually gone really amazing. Um, it is my second year doing it. Uh, I've entered in a new event, a Dramatic Interpretation, as well as Continuing Original Oratory. I've gotten quite a number of championships in oratory, so I'm really proud of that. Uh, this tournament, um, I mean, result-wise, uh, it's only, I just finished finals for Dramatic and Terp as well as Oratory, but I'm actually really nervous and I don't know how it's going to turn out, but it's a great opportunity. I'm glad I was selected. Yeah. Um, I'm just excited to continuing, uh, you know, being a part of the team as well as I was recently selected for the region's um, Student Leadership Council nomination. So hopefully I'll be able to progress in that and help out speech and debate as a whole. For it. In fourth place, from Maplewood Richmond Heights High School, Josephine Cabrera. Place from Maplewood Richmond Heights High School, Odessa Javier. Over yet, obviously. 
Um, but, you know, it's my first time. I've, I've judged before, and I've been around it a little bit here and there. It's my first time being around it all year long, and it was just absolutely amazing how just uh, hardworking, dedicated, um, smart, kind uh, our students are. They're just, they're just really, really good folks. It's made me very proud to be a part of it. Well, I think the, the, my exciting, what I see exciting about the debate team in the future is that it just keeps growing. You know, I remember when uh, Mr. McCollum started this, I don't even know, it was five years ago or something like that. It was like three kids. You know, you could have had, and, and everywhere they went, they were, you know, it was like three kids and they were all novices. And everywhere they went, they were just absolutely just getting tar beat out of them. And now you, we go places, and if we don't win, I'm surprised. I said, you know, I said back, uh, where was it? We were at in uh, Springfield. And at one point, we had won so many things in a row that every time something came up, our whole row would stand up, everybody would walk out, and it would just be me on one end and Mr. McCollum on the other end looking at each other like, what just happened? We just won, you know, we, we almost had to rent another van just to get the trophies home. So, you know, I think it's just going to keep getting better and better. Plus, the parent support, the booster support, has been just you know fabulous i've coached many sports uh and and you know been a part of a lot of organizations in my 20 years at maplewood but the parent support that this organization gets is off the chart it is so good and so i think it's really going to help add to the growth of the program place also going to state your district champion from maplewood richmond heights high school odessa javier <laughs> Stay tuned for the debate team's NSDA districts on March 14th through 16th.